Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here with another design using the self adhesive vinyl that I got from Orteza. And I wanted to show you that I am working on another project, and you can see that it has T Quilts over on the left side. And then I also made an outline of this same design that's about a quarter of an inch bigger than the design over on the left. So okay. So now that I've shown you what is on my screen that I'm going to print, I want to talk about the product that I'm going to use. I'm going to be using self-adhesive vinyl, and it's from Orteza, and it's their 42-count 12 by 12 sheets. And very nice quality, so if you're looking for a great self-adhesive vinyl, I love their packaging. I did a review of this, and I'll put a link up at the I card above. So I pulled one piece of the color, and Orteza was really nice. I contacted them and asked them if they could send me some more white. And so they sent me a 50 count sheet of white. So it's 50 sheets that are 12 by 12. And I will be using this as well. One of the things that I'm working on this year is that I'm working on branding. And I want to do some different things and I knew I was going to need quite a few pieces of white. I used this white vinyl and I've already cut part out of this sheet that I've used for cutting and then I also used the other side of this so I'm using the white and the green right now and the green is one of those colors that will be constantly changing so that's why I didn't need that. And what you probably can't see is that I have cut my pieces that were on my silhouette screen out. And I have cut them further with scissors into this part. So now what I want to do is I want to weave these two pieces. So the background is going to be pretty easy to weave. And then I also want to take off this piece on the edge as well. Stick that on my computer. So this is actually my background piece that doesn't look like much at this point. And now I want to weed my white. And the white's going to be a little bit more difficult because I have very tiny letters. And I want to make sure that I keep those on the paper, on the bottom paper on my release sheet down here. And I know you can probably barely see the white because it's white on white here. I've got my center of my eye popping up so I want to kind of press in on that a little bit looks like my whole eye is trying to come up <laughs> and my dot did move a little bit so I'm gonna worry about that later and this is about maybe an inch high by four inches just so you can have a general measurement idea of the measurement that I'm working with here so I've got to go into that T and then I've got that S on the end and then again on the end I have another piece here that didn't get peeled off 
Now, one thing that I do, if something comes up, I just go ahead and remove it. And I just manually place that later. So I'm just going to stick that on something. Then I'll come back and pick it up later. And just put the eye dot on there separately. So now we've got our two pieces. And now I'm going to use a piece of release tape. And I've already been using one. And so I will just continue to use this until it doesn't stick anymore. I just want to place my release tape right on top. And then this is where the squeegee comes in. I want to use the squeegee to press my ladders onto the release tape. And then when I peel back on the release paper, hopefully my ladders will stay. This is the second time I've used this paper. And I see that I forgot to weed out my alphabet so I'm going to do that <laughs> okay so I got the three pieces together and now I'm ready to put this part on top of here now I don't have the invisible kind of tape but I can kind of see the laddering through and so I want to just place this so that I've got a little of this green shadowing around the white. And then once I get it placed, I want to use my squeegee again just to make sure that everything is holding. And then I want to go to the back. I actually want to pull this off the front I'm sorry because I want to put my eye on right there so I have my eye here and I just want to place it wherever I want and now I can pull that back and do the squeegee, squeegee a couple more times okay so now I want to just peel this whole thing off and leave it on the release paper. And what I'm actually doing with this is that I'm using it for branding. So I want to put it on envelopes that I'm going to be sending out packages in. So I have this envelope here and I'm just going to take this and put it down in the bottom corner. Place it where I want and then use my squeegee to make sure that it sticks down. And this will cure in about 24 hours. And then I peel off my release paper. And wouldn't that be cute to receive that in the mail? And this is the other one that I have done. So I will do a few of these. And this is what I'm trying to do with branding. And it may not always be these two colors. It may not always be these two fonts. But this is something that I'm looking forward to doing with my packaging. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to check the affiliate code that I have down at the bottom. You also will get 10% off of your total purchase from Arteza. Even if you don't need the adhesive vinyl, you want to purchase something else, you're, you can do that and use your discount code there as well. But I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, everybody. If you watched this video to the end, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you haven't hit the notification bell, go ahead and hit that notification bell because it will let you know whenever I go live, whenever I upload a video. So that's it, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.
Thank you.